What is up? What is up? What is up? It is Garrett Fankhauser with FFLFunnels.com. Uh, guys, today I have a very, very important uh, topic that I want to cover with you guys. We're going to be talking about the red car theory, right? This could be the blue car theory. This could be the yellow car theory. This could be the pink giraffe, whatever it is, right? But let's dig into this because I think this is something important for a lot of you guys as business owners, not necessarily just FFL specific, but as a business owner in your life as well. And, and this, you guys have probably heard of a secret or an abundance mindset or anything like that. A lot of it comes down to this. A lot of it comes down to the concept of the red car theory. I'm driving right now, I'm going to the gym. Uh, if somebody were to ask me, hey, uh, on your way to the gym, how many red cars did you see when I got to the gym? I would be like, I have no fucking clue. I'm sure that I probably saw a few, but I wasn't paying attention. I wasn't trying to count the red cars. Now, if somebody told me before I left to the gym, hey, every time you see a red car, document it, and I will pay you $50 for every red car that you see. Now, you can imagine that I would be paying attention, right? I would be literally looking for red cars on purpose, right? The, I, the idea, the concept behind this is that if you guys are not looking for ways that you can market your business, if you're not looking for angles or positions or content that you can create on a regular basis, you're going to be missing out on a lot of this, right? The, the way that I'm phrasing this for the context that I'm using for this video is going to be around how you use it in your business, but this can be the same thing, like looking for opportunities to partner with people, looking for opportunities to do things with your family. It doesn't matter what it is. If you're not looking for it, you will not find it. A lot of people actually repel money because they talk negatively about money and they do not look for opportunities on on ways to find more and generate more and whatever. They literally push themselves away from money. You guys, in the context again of this video, what I want you guys to hopefully understand and take away from this is that if you can start training your mind to look for opportunities in your in your shop, online, whatever it is, to screenshot things, go live, film reels, like make reels, whatever type of content or whatever that it is, if you guys are not looking for opportunities to do that, it's not gonna happen. Like it won't happen. You have to be consciously thinking, cool, uh, last time I posted about X, Y, and Z, it did really well. What is another way that I can reshare that same message but that's new, uh, exciting, and maybe we'll even do better than last time, right? Guys, the concept behind this, again, is just like open yourself to the opportunity for these things to happen. And so what it might take, this is kind of what I do, is occasionally every couple weeks or so I'll sit down and either in my head think about what are the most important things that I need to focus on or even better is actually writing them down but if you can actually sit down and say like what are the what are the 50 things or 20 things or 10 things that uh, are important to me right now right? So maybe it's getting more traffic. Maybe it's building a website. Maybe it's generating more sales. Maybe it is getting more foot traffic in your store. Maybe it is increasing your revenue so that you can hire more staff, whatever it is, right? You'll want to actually sit down and map out what are the most important things and then cut out 80% of it, right? So if you have 10 things, cut out 80, cut out eight of the things and just focus on like two things because we can only focus on so much at a time. Focus on those two things, right? And when you do that, you'll be able to actually open your mind to the possibility of generating more of whatever that is, right? For me, some of the things that I focus on are one, how can we get more clients? And two, how can we make sure that we provide the best service possible for those clients? How can we do better? How can uh, I improve our team? All this kind of stuff, right? So there's definitely a lot of different things, but 
if we focus on just a couple of them, that really allows us to open our mind to the opportunities that we would totally miss because we wouldn't be paying attention or we wouldn't be looking or whatever it is, we would miss that stuff, right? And so it would just pass us by. And that would be another day, another week, another month, another year, stuck in the same position, not getting the results that we're actually after because we're just sitting here missing the opportunities that are literally standing there slapping us right in the face. That's all I really have to say about that for now. Uh, I don't want to keep rambling on the same stuff, but um, focus on o opening yourself to, to different opportunities and, and being aware of them when they happen. Fucking people can't drive, dude. Jesus. Anyways, I will catch you guys in the next one. I got to make it to the gym safe. Cool. Catch you guys later. Bye.